In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace your ABS wheel speed sensor on your Chrysler 300. It's located behind your front wheel. Using a 21 millimeter socket, we're going to remove our lug nuts. Remove your wheel. Using a 10 millimeter socket, we're going to take out this bolt for our speed sensor. Now you remove your speed sensor. It may take a little wiggling in a flathead screwdriver. You want to get underneath it, try to get it to move. Our car is pretty rusty, so it may take a little persuasion. Remove it from its fastener. On the new sensor, it comes with all its holders. So we're going to remove the plastic pieces that are throughout, and then we're going to disconnect it from here. Let's remove this. Install the new one with the new sensor. I'm going to use a trim tool to do that. Now we're going to go over here and disconnect my sensor first. And take this off. I'm going to use a pry bar and a sledgehammer to remove this clip since it's so stuck. You're going to push down on this clip, and if it doesn't come out the way it's supposed to, it's just supposed to pop out. But if it doesn't come all the way out, you're going to need a pick to pull that out and then take this out. They get a little stuck over time. Place your sensor in. Make sure that this curved lip is on towards the front of the car. Make sure it's locked in with this little silver spring clip here. Give it a good pull. If it's in there good, you're good to go. Now we're going to move on to our bracket here where the brake hose and line are. And you're going to slide it down over the bracket. Should just go right on top but if it's rusty it's going to be a little tougher once you hear that click you're good next you're going to feed the wire through the strut and the knuckle and we're going to feed it into the knuckle bolt side up there is a little knob on this sensor right here so make sure you put it in the way you need it you can't spin this kind should fit into that groove. Once it's flush, you're going to start your bolt. Snug it up and then we're going to torque it to 97 inch pounds. Now we can put this grommet in the knuckle. on. Start your lug nuts. Using a 21 millimeter socket, we're going to tighten up our lug nuts. I usually start in the bottom and walk the wheel on. Now you're going to go in a style-like pattern, tightening them up. We're going to torque our wheels with a 21 millimeter socket to 110 foot pounds. We're going to do that in a star like pattern.
When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.